So in true form, let's write some unit tests before we actually implement the code. Scaling is real simple. All we have to do is adjust the uh, basis vectors as we saw in the previous video. Here is the test file for matrix 3D. And remember we did rotation, we did translation. So I think we'll just drop scaling down here. Test matrix 3D scale like so. And then let's do it. Let's say matrix 3D op gets matrix 3D. Oops, 3D. I want to say scale. Notice we have these factory functions for rotate and translate that we built. Um, now I just want to do scale and I want to scale oh, let's do 0.5 here let's do float 0 0.5 float and 2.0 float right there we need a vector to scale vector 3d victim gets well actually we can just create it like this let's do 6.0 float there and then let's do 5. Point Oh, float there. Simple numbers. I'm just trying to go for some basic numbers. Let's actually define this function in the matrix 3D class. Here's matrix 3DH. Here's rotate and translate. So we'll just put scale right below it. Inline static matrix 3D scale float X float Y. Control L, Control V, that's my cheap way of copying a line. Control L cuts the line. Control V paste it, that's my cheap way of copying a line without having to highlight it. Matrix 3D.inl, let's find trans. Whoa! Uh oh. Uh, Alright, whatever. Um, here's translate here. I'm trying to be syntactically uh, aligned with how I do things in the header file. So I go rotate, translate, scale, and it looks like I have rotate, translate, we'll drop scale down here. Matrix, 3D, matrix, 3D, oops, 3D, scale, float. You know what, I copied that line and I didn't paste it. I'm typing it again. Oh, it's been a long day. All right, remember we're doing test-driven test development. Meaning, I'm just going to return a matrix 3D and not implement it quite yet because I want to make sure my tests fail. If I write tests that don't fail, then something's wrong with my test. So let's go back to the tests. We have a victim. We're going to scale the victim. So vector 3D, victim prime. That's what we like to call vectors that we've just sent through a transformation. The prime vector, we could say pr uh, vector translator, vector operated on, or vector transformed but we call it vector prime gets the operator the matrix operator times the victim times the victim <sighs> victim it's kinda hot and I gotta focus here a little bit alright so we have victim prime we have scale here uh, I'm not sure what the reg squiggly is about maybe just until you sense having issues so I should be able to expect expect float equal that victim prime their x should be 0.5 times 6 that should be a 3.0 in float land and then expect float equal victim prime sorry prime dot y 2 times 5 should be 10 so let's do 10 dot 0 there then I'm going to control F5 this. Let's make sure the engine tester is set as our startup project. Control F5 it. Run it. Make sure we get red. I'm seeing lots of red. It compiled, which tells me this red squiggly is useless there. Uh, the red, let's just make sure. Error value of 3, actual 3. Yep. Yep. Matrix 3D tests and the scale test it failed. Good. Good. So let's, let's, uh, make, make, let's, let's make it go work. Let's go over to the inline file. Instead of returning a blank matrix there, basically we gotta we gotta do the same thing we're doing up here. I'm gonna copy this, paste it over here. Let's change the x to a zero, the y to a zero, and then the scale. We want to scale the x by this amount, so it's real simple. We just put that amount right there, and same with the y. We'll put the y right there, and Control F5 this. Hopefully there's no errors. I saw all green. Everything passed. Nice and green. I'm feeling good. 
Now, before we're done, though, remember we made this Matrix 2DH version over here. So we need to uh, do the same thing in Matrix 2DH. But before we do that, let's go to the header file. And again, we're going to add a scale here. Inline static matrix 2DH. Is that a yep, scale? Float X, float Y, and control L, control V. Maybe this time I'll remember to use what I copied and pasted. Let's do, I'm holding down the control key and scrolling with my mouse wheel. You can certainly do control shift left uh, angle bracket, right angle bracket, and that'll zoom in and out for you as well. Let's find translate here and just put scale below it. All right, we don't need the inline, we don't need the static, that's all header file information. Control C, Control V, colon, colon, end key, backspace, put some curlies in there, Control L, Control Enter. <laughs> I use a lot of hotkeys while I'm programming. Return matrix to D H. All right, hopefully this fails miserably, but we need to tweak our unit tests. Let's go back to our unit tests here. We did scale. Let's do this template trick we did before, so I'm going to say template class t void test scale and let's just let's grab all this highlight it, control x, control v and instead of saying matrix 3d there I'm going to say t and instead of saying scale there I need to say t again but the rest I think should work okay so let's test scale using a matrix 3D, that's what we were doing before. Alright, control F5, that should build, run, and everything's green. Okay, 27 tests, nice and green. And now I can say test scale matrix 2DH, like so. Control F5, that should fail. And it does. Very good. So you see how I'm taking these incremental steps, just making sure. Did you fail? I expect you to fail. Yeah, you failed. Okay, I fixed you. I expected test or <laughs> pass. I'm taking baby steps there. So incremental steps. I should be checking in while we're going along and doing this. Technically, I should be able to add scale to matrix 2D. Uh, wouldn't be the same as adding it to the matrix 3D. But um, I'm not seeing us needing it in the future. So I'm actually going to be lazy and leave that off. Let's implement scale for matrix 2DH uh, right here. And same thing as this. It's pretty straightforward. X, 0, 0. Tab, tab, 0, Y, 0. And remember, we do not have the third row with the matrix 2DH. Let's build this, run this, and hope we get a lot of green. We got green. Our tests are good. Now to go back to our game and use that new code to make up for what OpenGL does when it stretches our ship too far.